Okay, guess what I have in this blue bag? I went to my local meat processor in my nearby community, and they gave me this bag full of something very useful to me. Hang on just a second and let me clip this zip tie off and let's see what we have. So this is a really sturdy zip tie here. Okay, ties on. This is, y'all, this is raw. This is beef tallow. Beef tallow. And there's a few little bits. As you can see, there's a few little meat bits. But look how thick that is. And I am going to... I'm going to cut this into small pieces. I'm going to render it down. And let's see what we get. See, there's a little bit of meat. A little bit of meat bits there. None of this will go to waste. This was a gift from the processing. Um, it's a small family-run processing plant. And... Oh, some some of them's trying to get away. Look at that. That is almost pure tallow. Almost. So I'm gonna get to chopping. And oops, more get trying to get away. But this is going to make some beautiful oil. And we are going to make some soap so it's hard to believe it starts out like this but this is the way they used to do it in the old ways was they rendered out their tallow you can get tallow from pork or beef or whatever has fat so i was standing in the shade there so let me get to cutting I don't have a lot of room. I'm remodeling the farmhouse, so we're going to do it the easiest way we can. I think I will put some of it in a pan on the stove, and I will put some of it in a crock pot also because I need to process this so that I can get it stored. I'll probably put it in the refrigerator. Um, some of it I may actually be able to refreeze so my space is limited right now, but I need to get this rendered down and refined so that we can make some really old-fashioned soap. I will see you in a bit. Okay, so I have a big pan full. This is probably a four quart pan. Um, probably about five pounds of tallow. And I have added natural sea salt. And I have also added about a quart of water so that it does not stick on the bottom. I don't want it to scorch. So right now I'm getting ready to cut some more to put in the crock pot. 
I have weighed this, and this is about um, 20 pounds of tallow, raw tallow. So together, we probably have anywhere from 20, around 28 to 30 pounds of tallow in this batch. So in the end, I kind of am curious of how much um, raw tallow oil that we'll actually get. So I'll bring you back on the next. But it's very clean tallow, very little um, meat bits. Very little. As you can see here, look at that. So very little. It's just it's just chunks of fat, basically. So okay. I'll update you on the next second. My hands this my hand is greasy. I did wash my hands, I want you to know. Uh, even though this is tallow and I am refining it, basically cooking it, um, I am still working with kitchen safety. My knives are clean. My hands are clean. And I have washed them several times already. I did try to use gloves, but gloves just made it worse. So, anyway, let me see if I can turn the camera off without touching it. Okay, as you can see, it's starting to render down. Let me find my spoon. We'll give it a little bit of a stir. There's some, so you can see the oil starting to separate. Right there. So, we have a lot more to melt down. I've got it on low now. I don't want it to scorch, but yes, there is the oil right there. So I got it on simmer. We're gonna go slow because life on the farm still happens. Still have to check on animals. This one is the crock pot. I just got this one in and you can see it has not started turning translucent yet. So it hasn't really started heating up yet, but so I have two pans of fat rendering process here. So, okay, so here we have, see this is the oil we have off of it, and now we're going to strain it. And all the little bits that uh, are rendered out, those will go to the three pot belly pigs and the kitties and the dogs. So they're gonna love, they're gonna love that. So you can see now it's very clear, isn't it? It's pretty oil. It doesn't have any sediment in it. And what I'm gonna do is strain it now and I'm going to use this cheesecloth. I'm gonna strain it into a stainless steel bowl so that I can get it out. Now the water will go to the bottom and the oil will stay on top and I'll show you what that looks like once um, that it solidifies. Okay, so we will start. I'm going to try not to get any of the little bits yet, but that is pretty, isn't it? That is pure, refined, oil so i won't i won't film it all because i have to hold this colander up um because my bowl is kind of it's not real deep so i don't want it to just be floating in in oil um so let me get this part done and i'll show you what's left when i'm finished with that but i just wanted to see how pretty that oil was it's a lot of work believe me it's a lot of work and I found out that I really could use some really good knives because my knives are definitely not sharp enough even to cut a lot of tallow. Okay, so this is what we have after we got the oil out. These are just kind of gelatinous little bits and of fat and um, little bits of meat. 
So this will make a good um, animal feed. So I have quite a bit of it and I have quite a bit of oil. And what I'm doing is I put it in the refrigerator to cool off a little bit. And you saw how pretty and yellow it is. Well, it will be different when it comes out. So I'll show you when that happens. Okay, I want to show you how pretty and yellow this is. Very pretty. And I think I can pop it out. Now the water will go to the bottom. It's pretty hard. But the, the water will go to the bottom and the oil will be on top. See that? So it's not quite... Uh, there's still a little bit that hasn't hardened. I haven't had it in the refrigerator. Our electricity's been out for three hours. So I've just had to let it uh, solidify just from the cool room. But I will show you again. Let's see, I might see if I can look at the other two. The other two, this is one. You can see here it's got a crack on it. It's pretty hard. I'll have to work at getting that one loose. I'll have to get a, a knife. Well, hang on. Okay. Let's see if I can break that edge there. I say the electricity went off so I know, I know there you go bowls going all over the place okay now look at the bottom of that just got a little bit of liquid but if there was if there was a lot of sediment, it would be right here on this spot. And there's just very little bit. Now tomorrow, I will cut this and then I will put it back and warm it back up and strain it one more time. Isn't that pretty? Ooh, I like that. Okay, and that was all the water that was left in this one. Just a little bit of, but that was all the water left in that one. Like I say, I had 30 pounds of this. Let's see. Let's look like some bubbles, but that's it. Let me see if I can break this one out and see how it looks underneath. I just have to get a little air down in there. It's so rewarding to see something turn into something really pretty. Okay, see I got it loose now. Let me see, this one's not very hard. Like I say, it's You just got to get underneath it. Okay, it just broke. But that's okay, because I'm going to melt it again. And there's no dark, there's no dark part to it. So, we'll put that back in. Tomorrow. It's really pretty. So it's still got a little bit of water in it, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it with the others. I may just put it in a Ziploc bag because I wanna put it in the refrigerator tonight.
I don't, I don't want it to get too warm. Because I'm going to break it up in the morning and put it back in the crock pot. It's going to make very nice soap. Very nice. And I'll drain this out so I can get the rest of that. Okay, so this is what I started with. And I have rendered that to this. Looks like butter, but it is a solid type lard. So this is the first rendering down, and then I will render it the second time and strain it again with cheesecloth, and it will be even more pure and more hard. Any extra water that's still left in it will come out the second time because I won't add water. Okay, so here is the second rendering and I'm going to get it liquefied and then I will strain it one more time in the cheesecloth and any additional water um, or sediments will go to the bottom and then we can make some soap and that will be another video, but I just wanted you to see how clean and pure this turned out rendering the tallow for soap.